things are created and they satisfy you the in how they appear. For example, here we are satisfied with where the mouse lines are dividing the different sections of the road corridor. Next, we will create the, the sheets. Sheets are basically the layouts that are properly made. For example, these layouts here currently are not properly set. These are the default layouts that open when you create a model. So now we want to create the real, the real uh, sheets. So what we do, we go to the output tab again. At the output tab, here we have the create sheets. So we click on create sheets. And then we are presented with these create sheets, different groups and layouts wizard. The create sheets wizard. So we are currently at the different group and layout page. And here we are prompted to select the different group uh, of our choice. And then uh, next here we can select or choose a different range. So a different range all means that all these different will be selected to create the, the sheets. And if you want to choose the different you want, you don't want to create uh, plans for more different, you can choose the selection bit and go to choose frames and from your control uh, button on your keyboard you can click on control and select which view frames you need so currently you want to select view frames from all the view frames you want to, to create plans from all view frames and then at the layout creation section this is where we select whether we will have our sheets on this drawing or whether we have it in a new drawing. The first option here shows the number of layouts per new drawing. So we can create layouts in different uh, new drawings. So you can select the number of layouts that you want. If you want two layouts in new drawing, you can do that. If you want one in every new drawing that is created, you can also do that. And then the other option is all layouts in one new drawing. You can also opt for that. This is used especially when many people are working on the same drawing or also you don't want to use too much of your computer's energy. You can, you can uh, decide or choose to have this all layouts in a new drawing. Then the third option is to create the sheets or the layouts in the current drawing. This is the option that I will select because I want my layouts to be next to this model space here. Then the layout name, here you can set up your layout name. Uh, here the default uh, setup is a sheet one, two, a sheet, the word sheet, and then a uh, counter. So one, two, three. So if you want to change this, you can change it to something else. and can go here and select something else. First of all, if you want to remove this, I can remove this, I can remove this. So I want to name my sheets in terms of station name. So let me insert the new frames, row station, new frame start row station, and then I insert it. Then let me insert a hyphen there, and then I take another property field for the different end station and I insert it there. So our sheets, once they are created, will be named by or using this naming nomenclature whereby it will have the first different structure station to the end. If you add a, a counter here, we would select the style of how to do our counter. Currently, we do not have a counter, so we just leave that as it is. Then the template that you selected during creation of view frames, here if, if it had a not arrow block, here you can select a not arrow block. Just make sure you did. So these ones here shown, we show the, the not arrow blocks. Let me just choose this one for now. And then once everything is set up in this page, we can go to the next page. The next page is the sheet set. 
This allows us to select where to store the sheet set. A sheet set is a collection of the layout of the sheets that are going to be created. So this is the name. Uh, you can create it either as a new sheet set or you can add this uh, uh, sheet to, a, to an existing sheet set. Currently we want to create a new sheet set and this shows you the, the storage location. If you want to change it, you can change it by clicking on this icon here. You can browse to your Windows Explorer and, and, and direct it to a different directory. Then this is grayed out. This is because we do not select the option of creating sheets into a new drawing. So if you, you would have chosen that, that uh, option in the previous page, you would have this active and you would select where to have or to locate those uh, or to store those sheets or files. So once that is done, that page is done, we also go to the next. And here, uh, the profile views, you're allowed to select also the profile view settings. There are those that we selected when we are creating the reference. Here they are populated here. But if you want to choose other profile view options, you can select uh, from this option, other two profile view options. And then you can also choose the settings yourself. You can go to the to, to this user for the create multiple profile views. We learned this uh, in the profile tutorials how to set up your profile views. If you want to split them, you can split them. So currently, let me just leave it as it was. And then the last uh, portion here is to align our views. So aligning um, the stats of the profiles and the plants. So here is showing the first uh, alignment is aligning the profile and front of it at the start. If you want to align them like, like that, you can do that. If you want to align them uh, at the center, like this, you can do that. Let's try that one. Or if you want to align profile view and plan view at the end, you can do that. So let's try this the center off. Once everything is, is set up in this page, you can go to the next one. The next one is data references, which is grayed out. This option also allows us to add more data to our profiles. Let's say if we add a, a pipe network here, probably this will not be grayed out. So we have the option of adding our, our referencing the data, which is now the pipe network data. Onto. So once everything is set up, we click on create sheets. To complete this process, your current drawing will be saved. That is okay. So we are prompted to select the profile view origin. Let's come and place it here in the model. The layouts are being created, and here we have our hash set. So the event viewer pops up as well, and there are no errors. We click OK. We need to go up the two space to create more space. And these are the sheets that have been created. And this is the sheet set manager. So if I double click or I click and I click, I can open up the first layout. And there we go. So currently, this is a bit shaken up. So let me rotate it to its right stance. As you can see, this layout is named according to, to how we, we selected or how we dictated. Uh, this is the first row station, and this is 0 plus 220 is the next row station. And we have a mask here because of. We have a mask here because of the style of the matching. So we can set it up uh, right. So let's go to the model space and see how we can change that. So if I go to the match line, don't want to see the 
you don't want to see that that uh, shading or hatching this one here or this one here we can turn it off this is controlled by the style of the matching let's pick the match right here let's right click let's go to edit match line style and here on the display there's a mask there's a match line mask so I want it to go off. I'll apply and then I click OK. And if I go again to this sheet, you see that the mask is now clear. And now, also here, we cannot see the profile. So what we can do, we can go again back to the model. Click on this profile view the profile view and go to profile view properties and change the elevations to automatic so it's very high you see we will have it like so these can do a user specified height and make the, the data to be somewhere at P and Q's and supply that and see how it looks like. You can even take it to 290. Let me see this proper view style. See whether we can use that. We can use that proper view properties information. So this is the proper view style. Let's use it here. So view properties. Yeah, let's select that proper view style. There we go. Now if we go back to that sheet. At least it looks like that. So next, we will see how this profile so that it shows everything. We can split this profile so that it shows everything, so that we see from bottom to, to top.